How can you master the art of worship this Ramazan like you have never ever done before? And not only that, which also persists lifelong after Ramazan. Make sure you don't skip and watch till the end to find five most incredible, plus important practical and pragmatic steps towards improving your worship this Ramazan. Because at the end, I'm going to tell you how to implement it into your daily life. Wallahi, it will be really very helpful. We'll smash your long procrastination. Inshallah. Don't live like zombies. Give calm smash to the shaitan and beat the procrastination now. Make sure none of this will be easy at first, but the reward is worth an eternity with Al Haq, the Exalted One. Insha'Allah Ta'ala. The first one is remembrance or zikr. This Ramadan, focus on praising Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala abundantly without thinking about the creation. In remembrance, the key is not only to think, but to feel it inside and ultimately feeling overwhelmed by Allah. That is the ultimate goal. The second is gratitude and patience. Shukr and sabr are the two sides of the same coin, right? What is shukr and sabr? Shukr is the faithful expression of gratitude toward what you enjoy of Allah's blessings and patience, sabr, is faithful perseverance against what you experience of your Lord's tests. The third one is self-reckoning or muhasaba. In this step, you focus on yourself, your sins, your behavior, your shortcomings, your character traits and tendencies, and your desires and habits that make you disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Hold your nafs accountable. The fourth one is repentance or tawbah. To repent to Allah is to return to Him, abandoning and repudiating all your sins and acts and thoughts of disobedience which is the ultimate blow to shaitan having zero control over you, right? Worship Allah to save yourself from hopelessness, meaninglessness, laziness, and unhappiness in this life, and Allah's displeasure in the eternal abode, which is hereafter, seeking to enter Allah's promised gardens of bliss, but most of all, because you love Allah. Really? Yes, that's what Allah wants from humans. My dear sisters and brothers, how to start it without harming oneself. My suggestions is, don't be intimidated. Start little by little, making it easy for your and don't hit it in one go. Because in one go, you will do nothing. In Islam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes everything easy for us. It's because He knows us. He knows our inner potential, right? Don't get stressed. Start consistently and uninterruptibly. Make these things as your hobbies. It's because when you love it, and when you love something, you can master it easily. Insha Allahu Ta'ala. My dear sisters and brothers, let me know in the comments below. Was this helpful? Say just only yes or no. And make sure this Ramadan, we're facing challenges. We critically need your support for creating and providing these resources. Please make Quran Institute free this Ramadan by donating now. Thank you for your generous support in this critical time. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.